What? Can I twerk? Yeah, go do it over here <laughs> so everybody can see you. You want me to do it? Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah do it. Right now? Yeah, right now? do it right now so everybody can see. What a freaking idiot you are. Get the fuck out of here, Chad. <laughs> Some people's children, you guys. Some people's children. Hello, all. Welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Oh, lordy. If you all didn't notice, that was Chad twerking for you guys. So, go Chad, get it done. And if you missed it, I'm sorry. You'll have to watch the replay when I actually upload it. So, welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Oh, I am your culinary coach, Harmony. Whether you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, I hope to inspire you to create something extremely impressive for yourself or your family. Or just yourself, so that's cool too. I mean, yourself, your family, your loved ones, people you kind of like, just get in the kitchen. That's all I ask. So, hello, Sarah. Um, tonight I'm doing something a little different. I cooked for my friend Sarah yesterday all day long, so I have tons and tons of leftovers that I am cycling through. So I thought I would give you guys a sweet treat. I don't do that very often because typically I am not a baker. Um, though I do enjoy baking, it's just a much longer process most of the time. So when I do show you something that's a baking item, it's usually something very quick and easy. So tonight I thought I would do, actually, first I gotta cheers you guys. I didn't, oh, I almost messed up. I almost didn't cheers y'all, so cheers y'all. Losing my touch all of a sudden. It was that twerking from Chad that some of you may have missed. That's what it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame it on Chad. So I just have not a nine by 13 pan, but a half of a nine by 13 pan. I have a smaller pan because uh, I only have one can of blueberries. If you are going to make a large amount of blueberry crisp using blueberry pie filling, um, you can do two cans, but you're gonna want a bigger pan. So I only have one can up in my cupboard, and so I'm just gonna dump that out into my pan. I have my oven set at 350, and we're gonna end up baking this for about 30-ish minutes. 30-ish minutes. Can I get a shout out from people that love some crisp? Do you love apple crisp? What kind of crisp is your favorite? Tell me, please. I actually have this up in my cupboard, this blueberry for dump cake, but I used the pineapple for something else. So. so yeah, yeah, that's what I did. So I thought, what could I do with that? It's either this or pumpkin, and I think we're a little bit out of pumpkin season. Though some people may argue with me, because I know some of you guys out there are huge like it needs to be Halloween 365 days a year people so shout out to y'all that like that weather not me I'm a fun in the sun kind of girl all right so that part's easy right just got some blueberry pie filling down there I'm gonna throw that over there real quick I have three quarters of cup of oatmeal I'm like what the hell is it called what is it called? I don't even know. Don't have a favorite, but would be good time to test them all out. Yes, and it's so easy, wonderful. Even you can do it. I have pure faith in you. So three quarters cup of oat, oats, just d the quick cook oats. I have a half cup of brown sugar, a little less because I don't need a lot, all that sugar. And you just want it to be a little bit sweet. And then I have a quarter cup, but you see I just threw the quarter cup in a quarter cup. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm doing. So we're going to do that. And so it's all in the bowl. If you have a pastry knife, this little funny tool, some people don't know what it is. They have it in their cupboard. They got not a clue how to use it or what it's for. That's just to like incorporate. We're going to incorporate, but I'm not going to use that. I don't like it. It doesn't make me feel comfortable, but I'm going to use my regular butter knives. So most everybody has butter knives in their cupboard. Even if they're using plastic stuff, they got butter knives. So we're really just gonna kind of cut everything up to where it blends together. We're blending it all together.
this is always a good dessert. I feel like my mom made this a lot when I was a kid. And probably because it's really inexpensive. Um, and it's good. It's good. She would do that and she would also do a... Uh, what's the other one? Not a crisp. This is the crisp. I don't know. It's got like a dough on top of it. She would do that one a lot too. Let's see if I can get these knives to work for me tonight. If you're really crazy, you can just stick your hands in there, which is cool too. I'm good with that. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. We really just want the butter to be like little, little pea size, little pea sizes. So if you're, we're just kind of going to break it up, get it all mixed. Wonderful you jumped on too late. Chad was twerking. You'll have to watch the replay. Idiot. He likes to do this thing where he tells me, you're so stupid. It's like joking, fun play though. You're so stupid. Ah. Yeah, here we are. He's the one twerking on my show, so. So is anybody else that lives in the Pacific Northwest super excited that it's like still light out right now? Because I'm super excited. And I had to turn my heat down. And I had to switch from my slippers to my flip-flops because that's how I roll. My grandma, uh, every time I walk around in my socks, I like hear my grandma yelling at me. Damn it, Harmony, get slippers on. She would freak out if you walked around the house in your socks. And she'd make you wash your feet if you tried to climb in her bed. You have to wash your feet first. Because feet are gross. All right, we're getting there, getting there. Just kind of feeling around for big chunks of butter and trying to kind of break it up a little bit. And it will be a little bit dry, guys, so it's okay. Because all that butter is going to melt. And I don't even know that you have to use butter. You could probably totally use like coconut oil, margarine, just some sort of fat. I don't know that you'd want to go like olive oil or avocado oil, but so there we go. We're getting like this nice little crumbly, crumbly action here. Like I said, super easy. Now we're just going to take it and we're going to put it on top of our blueberries. We'll just sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it. So yeah, it was super fun yesterday. I cooked for, for my friend Sarah. I did a show at her house uh, a couple months ago now. And we're trying out a little pilot program where I'm prepping her meals for her. So kind of trying to decide if that's the route I want to go or not. You know, meal prep. I'm not really good at meal prep, but if I have like recipes I can totally break it down for the portions it's kind of a struggle for me though all right get the butter off my fingers you could also add some pecans or walnuts or something in that mixture to make it just a little a little extra uh, you could also throw some cinnamon in there if you wanted to I totally should have done that but I did it and now we're just gonna put it in our 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and that's it let it cool though guys you do not want to be eating hot lava that's not fun at all not fun at all nice and easy Dessert will be ready in 30 minutes, and you still got time to eat dinner and let your tummy settle before then, right? That's how we roll. So, don't forget, next Saturday, we're going to be doing Suck It Up Saturday. That's new, 5 o'clock. So we'll do not 
this coming Saturday, the following Saturday, Suck It Up Saturday. We do Monday Morsels still at 5 o'clock. And Wednesday, Bare Bones Kitchen, Wednesday. Make sure you follow me on YouTube. Um, make sure you're following me here on Facebook or Instagram. Share, show me love. I appreciate all you guys and everything that you do for me. Y'all keep showing up. So do I. Have a good night, guys. Cheers.